Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Facebook Live, Facebook Live, we have a ride. One more time, y'all, let's get it in. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I'm going to take everybody to chime in on this Shabbat. Watchman Derek Yahuda. Israel, also known as Pastor Derek. On the early what I see the scripture study and prayer line. Hallelujah on this 24th day in August 2024. We back at it for some more. Yeah, it's 24-24. We back at it for some more. Hallelujah on the Think series. We in, I think, 13. Hallelujah. We in, think, um, 13. Uh, my thoughts again is, uh, um, my, 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 my thought is like the, the, the transition from, you know, religion to relationship, the transition from religion, um, to relationship. So I want to uh, dig into um, that 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 thought. Is that all right? Most High is leading me on on today, Lane Hart. Cause I'm not sure. Look like we got a bad connection. I'm gonna make sure we're on the right Wi-Fi connection. So let me go here. Hallelujah. Let's see. Okay. That's good to know. Well, prayerfully, this works out for us. Hallelujah. Y'all, let's pray. Spirit of living Elohim, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to be in your presence even once again. To glean in the truth of thy word, thy word is truth. Continue to teach your children. Ele elevate us. Yeah, re resurrect us and elevate us. We're in desperate need of your truth, your word, and your way. Elevate this here, your children, uh, with the truth. And we'll be careful to give you the praise, any honor, not only now, but forever. In the match, his name, Yahusha. We help me pray, hallelujah. And hallelujah. All right, y'all. On this Shabbat, let's deal with um, let's deal with a thought. So let's go. Let's go to Genesis twelve. On this Shabbat, twenty four twenty four. Yep, eight twenty four twenty four, y'all. <clears throat> Genesis um, 12 um, and 1. Hallelujah. And look, and look what they say. Hallelujah. It says, Now Yahuwah had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred. And from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation. And I will bless thee and make thy name great. And thou shalt be a blessing. N now, I want to share right here. I want to park for a second right here. The, the Most High is dealing with Abram. Why? Because of his faith. He, he found a man that trusted the Most High at his word to the point of leaving his country, leaving his father's house 
That's the only thing he knew was his father's house. And in his father's house, it was paganism. There was, there was another religious influence that went against the most high. Are you with me? There was another religious influence that went against the most high. And the most high appeared to Abram and said, leave there. How you living? You ain't your daddy. It's wrong. Leave and, and follow me. Right? And he said, leave, leave thy country. And he said, and leave thy kindred. That's a big step. Leave everything you know. Leave the leave, leave, leave those who raised you. Leave, leave the their ideology. Leave, right? From thy father's house onto a land that I will show thee. He didn't even know where he was going. Can y'all see that? He didn't even know where he was going. What what is why why is this written? But what, whether whether we realize it or not, it is written because this is the standard for us, and is proven and shown through Abraham. What he did to substantiate his faith in the Most High which is far different from the relationship that the first Adam had towards the Most High. When it came down to it, the first Adam didn't have the faith, didn't trust the Most High at his word. He did for a season, but soon as, soon as the Most High blessed him with his wife, the first Adam appreciated the gift more than the gift giver. Took her word over the gift. The gift. He took the word of the gift over the gift giver. Thereby substantiating death to mankind. To the species mankind. During the process of time... The Most High ran into Abram and told him to leave your country, leave your family, and leave your father's house. Yeah, strike out on faith. Yeah, trust me. That, that's, that's everything right there. What, are you going to forsake the teachings of your father? You, 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 you going to forsake the house? Of your father? You, you, you gonna forsake your bloodline? Your family? All the way down to your whole country? To go to a place that you ain't never been, ain't never heard of, ain't never seen? Second verse. And, I'll, and I will make of thee a great nation. So this is... A promise to his bloodline. Can y'all see that? This this is a promise to his bloodline. I, I'm finna I'm finna bless your seed because of this. Uh huh. Great nation is more than one individual. Can y'all see that in there? A, a, a great nation is more than one individual. It, it don't take rocket science to figure that out. An uh, individual from a nation. Are, are we still together on this? And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee. Now that's talking about him. So the Most High is going to make of him a great nation, and the Most High is going to bless him. And make thy name great. Right? And he gonna have a great name. You with me, Banks? G-Man? Genesis 12 and 2? And I'll make of thee a great nation. And I will bless thee and make thy name great. And thou shalt be a blessing. 
Are y'all with me? Stay with me, y'all. And I will bless them that bless thee. So he put a he put a covenant in earth that whoever bless Abraham, the most high gonna bless. And I will curse him that curse thee. And whoever curses Abraham, the most high gonna curse them. Y'all y'all see that so far? You see you see the covenant blessing associated with we're forsaking all and everything for the most high. You can't lose with the tools you use. Are y'all with me? You, can, you, you cannot lose with the tools you use if the tools you use is the most high. Obeying him at his word. Believing and trusting him at his word. Willing to leave what you know. To accept and believe in what the most high know and show. He say, go, go. That's what we see right here. Y'all see that? And so look, look at this response, mayors. Genesis 12 and 4. Look, look, look at Abram's response. And so Abram departed, just like the most I said. As Yahuwah has spoken unto him. And Lot went with him. Oh, that was a little suspect right there because that's his kinfolk too. Yeah, that was his nephew. That was a little suspect. But his intentions was to do exactly what the Most High said, which superseded. Uh, we'll talk about it. Let me keep teaching. Genesis 12 and 4. And Abraham departed as you who had spoken unto him, right? And Lot went with him, and Abram was 75 years old when he departed out of Haran. It feels like I didn't finish reading three because I didn't. And that was an important part. So let me go back to three, y'all. And I will bless them that bless thee. And I will curse him that curses thee. Y'all see that? And in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Did you see that? So look at this. In, in the second, in the second uh, 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 verse, it says, and I will make of thee a great nation. That's the bloodline. Are y'all with me? That ended up being the 12 tribes of Israel. He, he, had, he, had more, he had more seed. He had more seed. He had, he had seed with um, Hagar. He had seed with Keturah. But who he was really going to bless was the seed of Isaac. Listen to me. Because Isaac was the son of promise. Are y'all listening? He was the son of promise. How he had children with Hagar is because he felt that the Most High was taking too long to give him the promise of blessing him with a son. So him and his wife concocted the story, mainly his wife. Here we go with these wives. I'm not shooting at the women. Can I just tell the truth? His wife was, you know, gave him an idea. Well, why don't you sleep with Hagar, the, the slave, and, 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 and let her bear children to me? And that'll be the promised son that the Most High had, you know, had promised, had promised you. And he went along with that, and he had Ishmael, which represented a whole nother carnal religion, a whole nother carnal religion. And the Most High had to double back and say, no, I didn't tell you to do that. I'm going to bless him because he's your seed. But I didn't tell you to do that. So Abraham then inherited a seed of people that were religious, having a form of having a relationship with the Most High, but they didn't have it. Y'all with me? They, they didn't have it. Uh-huh. And he also had children with a woman by the name of Keturah. They wasn't it either. 
Yeah, Couture's children, they wasn't it either. Are y'all with me? Back to when the Most High had promised, I'm going to give you a son. So what he did was he waited until Abraham couldn't have children no more. Beverly, Genesis 12 and 2. He waited until he was sterile. Not only did he do that, he waited until his wife was was past her flower and she was sterile too. She couldn't have children. He doubled up. Ain't nobody going to take this credit. I'm doing this. By promise. Because you trusted me. I am creating this great nation. Second, second, second verse. I, I make of thee this great nation. And the 12 tribes of Israel will be born of the promise son. Are y'all with me? He, the promised son was Isaac. Because when he had Isaac, him nor his wife had anything to do with it. They were sterile. It was impossible for, the have, for them to have children. See, Ishmael, they was able to get involved with. They shouldn't have did that. We, we got we to gotta learn to trust the most high. You know where I'm going with this coffee. Good to see you in here. Shalom, Ak. Genesis 12 and 2. And I will make of thee a great nation. Are y'all with me? I will make of thee a great nation. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the 12 tribes of Israel. And I will bless thee and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing. Are y'all with me? And I will bless them that bless thee. Yeah, which is applicable to the nation too. Show sure is. And I will curse him that curse thee. Which is applicable to the nation. His seed. Are y'all with me? And in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Now that's something else. That, 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 that opened it up for all nations. Now, now he was going to have a great nation, which was going which was gonna to come from his loins. Are y'all with me? There's going to be a, there's going to be a, a great nation that was going to be born of his loins, bloodline. But the third verse was talking about, um, and indeed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Now this is talking spiritual now. Yeah. He he addressed the bloodline in two. And he addressed the whole world in three. You with me, battle? That's what he did. He addressed the bloodline in two. And then he, he addressed the whole world in three. Can y'all see that? If you do, put a two. Can you see that? He addressed the bloodline, and I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee and make thee thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. See, he's talking about the bloodline that would come out of his loins. And then he said, and I will bless them that bless thee and curse him that curses thee, and in thee shall all. Now, see, you see the all? All the families of the earth shall be blessed. You see that? So he went from the bloodline, right, that would come from his physical loins, which, which would be the bloodline, to all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Now, that, that, opened up, that opened it up for the Gentiles. Can y'all see that, mother? Charvet, can you see that? Genesis 12, 12 and 3. Let, let's visit let's visit three again. And I will bless them that bless thee and curse him and curse him that curse thee. Y'all want to see that? Let's roll in. Let's go to Genesis 15. I just want to show y'all something. Let's go to Genesis 15. Um Starting at the first verse. Look what this say, y'all. Remember the thought. I'm trying to get y'all to think. Think 13. 
Know what I mean? Listen. Now that I mean, listen. <clears throat> 15 and 1. Look what it said. After these things, the word of Yahuwah came on Abram in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abram. I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. And Abram said, Yahuwah, Adonai Yahuwah, what, what will thou, well, well okay, um, you know, it's more like El Shaddai at this point. He, he didn't know the name Yahuwah, to be honest. But anyway, back to, let me teach. And Abram said, said um, Adonai, what will thou give me seeing I go childless? Remember, he, he promised him a child. Remember, remember he got he got restless. He ran out of patience and then end up sleeping with Hagar. Y'all remember that? Seeing I go childless, and the steward of my house is Eliezer of of Damascus. And Abram said, Behold, to me thou hast given no seed, and lo, one born in my house, the one born in my house is my heir. See, he wasn't bloodline. And behold, the word of you came on him, saying, This shall not be thine heir, but he that shall come forth out of thy bowels shall be thine heir. Are y'all listening? And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now towards heaven, and tell the stars if they be able to be numbered. And he said unto him, So shall that seed be. You, you see that? He's, talk, he's talking about the stars in heaven. That's more of the heavenly host that Acts the seventh chapter was talking about. But it's, it, 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 he, he's used, he's referencing the stars which are in the sky, which represents spirituality, a spiritual uh, seed, right? As a comparison, how is seed going to be, Mother Katie? Genesis 15 and 5. <clears throat> and then 6, he said, And he believed in Yahuwah, and he counted it to him for righteousness. Where, where did um, Abraham get his, his righteousness from? Commandments on stone? Or, or did he get it for, for trusting him at his word? Was that, was that, was that uh, exemplifying the difference between Abraham and the first Adam who didn't trust him at his word when it came to his wife? Abraham was a little, little suspect when it came uh, to sleep with Hagar, thinking that the Most High took too long on the word of his wife. But... The fact that Abraham believed him and was acting on it. He really was. He, he was. he was acting on what the Most High said, and he believed it. He got, it's because of his carnal nature, he didn't know how unlawful it was to try to help Yah. But he was down with what Yah said. In fact, he was trying to help what Yah said come to pass. That's how much he believed in what Yah said. He knew it was going to happen. He just thought, well, maybe I need to help him. And what the Most High is teaching us is, no, we, I don't need your help. All you got to do is trust me. Which which actually exemplifies we're about to be put into a situation where we can't do nothing but trust him. Are y'all with me? I'm telling you the truth, too. We're headed towards a time where the children of, of, of the fallen, Luciferian, Kabbalah, wicked folk, Right, it's gonna clamp down, and we're gonna have to trust Yah to get us out of this one. Are y'all listening? He ain't doing but but re reinstating how he get down with his children, because after Abraham slept with Hagar and had Ishmael, the Most High's response was to remind him not to fire him and get rid of him. All he had to do was remind him because it was a mistake on his part thinking he could help Yah. So he reminded him, no, I'm going to give you a son, the son of promise. But then he clamped down and put him in a situation where he could not participate 
in it happening. Did y'all hear what I said? The Most High put him in a situation that if he were to have a son, it would be impossible for him to give credit to himself or his wife. Can y'all see that? If you do, put a two. Because I'm telling you, that exemplifies he's about to put us in a situation that when we overcome, we're going to have to say it was all y'all. It was all, they shut the whole world down. The economy collapsed. We had to endure 2025, that, uh, that agenda. We, we had to endure 2030. Those agendas, those Luciferian agendas. We, we're going to have to endure lockdowns and shutdowns and lack of water and pandemics. We, we, we have to endure uh, them, uh, trying to annihilate us and destroy and kill us all. We're going we, we, to have to do all that. And we're going to say, of a sure, when we make it over, it had to be the most highest to do it. Can y'all see the parallel in that? Stay with me. So let's, let's, let's read six. And he believed Yahuwah. He believed the most high, right? Adonai, right? El Shaddai, right? And he counted it for him for righteousness. The fact that he believed him and was acting on it. He made some mistakes, but it wasn't blatant sin. He was acting on what the Most High said. So the seventh verse said, and he said unto him, I am Yahu, I am uh, El Shaddai, or I am uh, Adonai, that brought thee out of Ur of the Chaldees, to give thee this land to inherit it, it, right? Now I'm going to skip down just to expedite time so we can get to this next point. So let's pick it back up at the 12th verse. Look what it say. Genesis 15 and 12. Look what it say. It says, And when the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell upon Abram, and lo, a horror of great darkness fell upon him. Are y'all with me? Al Mal, stay with me, man. It was a horror of great darkness that fell upon him. And he said unto Abram, Know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that, that's not theirs. Now he's talking future. Cornejo, Hogan, he's talking future. Genesis 15 and... Uh, 13, yeah, know of it surely that thy seed shall be a stranger in the land that's not theirs. So this seed right here is plural. It's talking about the nation of his bloodline. Are y'all listening, y'all son? It's talking about the, 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 the bloodline, right? And shall be a stranger in the land that's not theirs. And shall serve them. That service right here is talking about slavery. They're going to be enslaved and mistreated. And then she'll be afflicted 400 years. Are y'all listening? Was this the only affliction? No, there was many captivities prior to this affliction. There was a Syrian captivity, captivity, the Babylonian captivity. Every time you turn around, they was getting whooped on. Are y'all listening? This is talking about in the end times, dealing with the last captivity. This is the very last one. After this, it ain't going to be no more. This is the last one. This is the grand finale right here. Stay with me. But look what he say. The 14th verse say, And also that nation whom they shall serve, that's talking about slavery. The nation is going to enslave them. Will I judge? Didn't he say it in 12? I will bless them that bless thee, and I will curse him that curses thee. Asiah Shalom. Didn't he say it? In, in Genesis 12? Right now, we're in Genesis 15 and 14. But, he, but, but did he say, after the 400 years, you're going home? No. The next step after you serve the 400 years is I'm going to judge that nation. Judgment is going to hit that nation. It didn't say we wouldn't be here. The, the shadow and type of, uh, uh, of the um, 400 year slavery, right? 
and mistreatment, right, was the Egyptian captivity. That's the shadow and the type. That's the schoolmaster, the blueprint of what his children would go through in the last days. Are y'all listening? Was did did the most high judge them for messing with his with the, the seed of Abraham like he promised? The answer is yes. He judged them with the with the ten plagues. Are y'all listening? Where was Yasharel, Israel at when the most high judged them with the ten plagues? Can I answer that? Still in Egypt. They're in a, 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 a place called Goshen where they were shielded from the effects, the full effects of the, of the judgment, but they were still there. They didn't come out until after he judged them. Can y'all see that? You're right, mayors, without question. But Israel was in Egypt when the Most High hit them with all ten plagues. The last plague Israel had to partake in because they was born in sin and shaped in iniquity as well. And they needed the blood, which was a shadow and type of the Mashiach's blood. Which served when it was put on the doorpost, like we supposed to put it on the doorpost of our hearts. Really, it's our thinking. Doorpost of our hearts, right? Then the death angel had to pass over. That was a shadow and the type. Yeah. That was the reiteration or the iteration of the fact that the Messiah will be born in the last days. And we'd have to be covered on the doorposts of our hearts, right? So the death angel can pass over us. Are you with me, EVE? I see you in here. Stay with me. And so, and, 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 and so it didn't say we was coming out. In the 14th verse, it says, and also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge and afterwards shall they come out with great substance. Did y'all see that? And afterwards, afterwards, can y'all see that? Afterwards, can somebody put that in for me? Afterward, after you serve the 400 years, judgment going to hit. Well, there was a certain level. There was a such thing as indigenous servants and all that old fun stuff. That wasn't the, that wasn't the slavery. That wasn't the four hundred years slavery. The slave part, enslavement part, hit in 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 in, in nineteen. Uh, what was it? Uh, sixteen, sixteen, nineteen. Yeah, and comfort. Comfort, Virginia. Yeah. It started then. And then the soul, 400 years from then, will be 2019. When when Trump had said that the African American had been in America for 400 years. Right? And immediately after he announced that, substantiated the conclusion of the 400 years, that's when COVID hit and the whole world got shut down because cause judgment, because judgment is here. Is y'all listening? He didn't say you was coming out. He said, I will judge that nation. And then he said, afterwards, they shall come out with great substance. Is y'all listening? Judgment is still here. 2025, that agenda that's part of the judgment. 2030, that's a part of judgment. I'm talking about severe judgment, too. That's a part of the judgment. Now, what we need to do, is, like, like Mayor said, get your stuff together. Because we need to be in spiritual Goshen. See, the name of Yahuwah is a strong tower. And the righteous run into it and they're safe. We need to be cooperating with the Most High. We need we need to come out from among them and be separate. Yeah, that's what we need to do. Are y'all listening? And so, if you can see 
Let's go back to uh, 12 right quick. I want to show you all this real quick. And then we're going to do a push it. If you can see 12 and 1, I just want to show you all this. Now, Yahu, now, 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 Adonai had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee, right? Right? And I'll make of thee a great nation. See, that's the bloodline right there, right? And I will bless thee and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing, right? And, and, and I will bless them that bless thee and curse thee. Him that cursed thee, and in thee shall all the now that's the spiritual thing. A lot of folks can't see that's the new covenant. And the new covenant was substantiated in the beginning with Abraham. That's not a new thing. That is not a new thing, y'all. That was already established. I, I what I'm trying to tell you is the first that was established was the bloodline in the second verse. But in the third verse, it was going to perpetrate to all the nations. You look at Torah, you look at Tanakh, you look at what they call the Old Testament. It was to the Yahudim first. It was to, it was to Israel first. And then also to the Gentile because the Gentile of the heathen nations could join Yasharel if they was willing to follow the, 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 the Adonai, the Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This ain't no new doctrine. This, this, the, the, the New Testament is not a new doctrine. The engrafting of the Gentile was always, the door was open. The main nation they was being joined to was the seed of Abraham. That's still in place. They got slick. When they when, when when they didn't give the Ethiopians credit for their for for their New Testament, for the New Testament that was introduced to the world in the Ethiopian Bible, they wanted it to be a European thing, so they downplayed the Ethiopian Bible and made it so and made it look like they did that, made it look like this this came from Europe, this is a European they use a lie in the devil. But, but but Torah and Tanakh taught this from the beginning that Abraham shall be shall be a blessing to all the families of the earth, all of them. Can 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 can, can y'all see that? I said all of them. Is y'all listening? Well, l let me show you this then. Um, Galatians 3, see, I'm going to have to skim over this a little bit to get to the point. I almost wanted to skim over it completely, but I don't want to do that right now. So this is the substantiation. This is, we're going to start off in Galatians 1, which is going to substantiate what I'm trying to teach you. Galatians 3 and 1. Look what this says. This says, O foolish Galatian, he called them foolish, who has bewitched you that you should not obey the truth, before whose eyes Yahushua HaMashiach have been evidently set forth and crucified among you. Can't you see that? That when the world was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, right? He... He, he lived a perfect example, fulfilled everything that was written of him, and then he died on a tree for you and me. And his death opened up the new covenant because it has to be the death of the tester. It has to be the death of whoever will it is in order for it to be applicable. The first Torah covenant to not covenant was signed with the blood of animals. Well, it was forecasted that the Messiah would come. Listen, and the word was made flesh, and, 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 and he would open up the new covenant, Jeremiah 31, 31 through 33. 
And that covenant will be signed with the blood of the Messiah. So Galatians 3 and 1 says, O foolish Galatians, who have bewitched you that you should not obey the truth. Are y'all listening? Before whose eyes Yahushua HaMashiach have been evidently set forth and crucified among you. This only what I learned of you. Receive ye the spirit by the works of the law. H how did you get saved? What'd you do? Quote the Ten Commandments? What'd you do? Or did you acknowledge the death, burial, and resurrection of the Mashiach? Him set forth to be crucified among you. And did you do it through faith? Through the Ruah? Or did you do it through keeping the Ten Commandments? Which one was it? Through faith? Or through keeping the Ten Commandments? Can somebody answer that for me? Was it through faith? Or was it through keeping the Ten Commandments? Can somebody help me? Oh, foolish Galatians, third verse, y'all. Galatians 3 and 3. Are you so foolish, have beyond, having begun in the Spirit, believing in the death, burial, resurrection, and now you're going back to the flesh? Can you see in the flesh, you're going back to carnal commandments? AKA, you're going, you're going back to the word on stone. Come on, the stone is gone. Y'all didn't read Jeremiah? Stay with me. I see through faith, through faith, through faith, faith. I ain't mad at you. Y'all talk back to me. We finna teach today. Listen. And so the fourth verse teaches us, have you suffered so many things in vain? If it yet be in vain, hopefully it ain't in vain for you. Hopefully you understand that you didn't get saved by, by, by keeping uh, the feast days and the festivals and, and fringes and beards. Commandments on stone. Come on, y'all. Commandments on stone. Come on. Fifth verse. He therefore that minister you the spirit, the Ruah. He therefore that minister you the Ruah, the spirit, and work of miracles among you. Ever seen somebody do a miracles? I have. I've done it before. Cast out devils before. Been healed supernaturally right on the spot before. He that therefore minister you to the Ruah and work of miracles among you, do he do it by the works of the law? What you do? Whip out your Ten Commandments? Or by the hearing of faith? Or you're hearing the word of Yahuwah and responding to it in faith? Because faith without works is dead. You're responding to the word. How did it happen? Sixth verse, even as Abraham believed Yahuwah, and it was accounted on him for righteousness. We just read that in Genesis, the 12th chapter. He believed what Yah said. And Yah said, I'm counting that. That's the righteousness I'm looking for. Somebody to trust and believe me. Somebody that obey me because they believe me and they trust me. Oh, we're going to get put in a situation, y'all. If I'm still here, look here. We're we going to get put in a situation just like he put Abraham and Sarah in. Y'all trying to help me? I'm going to let you know you can't help me. You need my help. So you're not going to be able to have children. Yeah, you believe me, but sometimes you step to the left a little bit. And you start meddling in uh, uh, what I'm doing. I don't need your help. You need mine. Is y'all listening? So when Agenda 20, 2025 hit, when Agenda uh, 2030 hit, when these devils try to take over and try to achieve uh, eternal life through AI, when these wicked folks shut down the whole earth, yeah, we, we try to turn this place into a giant prison, ain't nothing but the most high uh, uh, wrath pouring out. Ain't, ain't, ain't nothing but judgment is here like he said. The na he said there's a there, there's, there's a nation uh, uh, that enslaved my children. He said now after they served a 400 year judgment is coming. Just, that ain't nothing but judgment. That ain't nothing but Second Chronicles seven and thirteen. I'm shutting up heaven that there be no rain. Getting rid of future food. Send the locusts to divide the land. I'm tearing up current food. Y'all listening? If I send pestilence among my people, ain't nothing but these pandemics that these devils is doing. Is y'all listening? Ain't nothing but judgment here. We, it ain't time for us to leave yet. We thugs and thoughts. We religious folks. 
We done went all the way back to commandments on stone. Is y'all listening? Well, we should be dealing with the most high through faith. You're going to have some faith in about five more minutes if you ain't got none now. If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, he said, then I hear from heaven. Then I'll forget their sins and I hear their land. Not until then. We got we got some more bumps in the road. Y'all listening? While he judging these wicked folks, he gonna comb our hair. You hear, player? You got some change in the do. <clears throat> Stay with me. And so, fifth verse. He therefore that ministered the spirit to you, the Ruah, y'all, work of miracles among you, do he do it by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? Even as Abraham believed Yah, and it was a counter on him for righteousness. We know that. Seven verse, know ye therefore that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. That was ordained in 12 when he first entered into the covenant agreement with Abraham. I'm going to make you I'm gonna make you a blessing of all the nations that are. Anybody that believe. Any, any, anybody that believe. Come on, talk back to me. From any nation. And they first teaches us. And the spirit foreseeing that y'all would justify the heathen through faith. Did y'all hear that? We back in Genesis 12 again. This ain't nothing new. Folks trying to discredit the New Testament. This ain't nothing new. It's in Torah. You with me, Isaiah? This ain't nothing new. And the scripture foreseen that Yah would justify the heathen through how? Through faith? Through the Ten Commandments? No, through faith. Through the Torah? No, through faith. Through the not. No, the feast that? No, through faith. Fringes, where your beard at? Why you got a hat on? Through faith. And the scripture was saying that Yah would justify the heathen through faith. Preached before the gospel on Abraham. The, the gospel, the Basura, was preached to Abraham. See, look at how y'all, come on y'all, get rid of this religion. We need relationship. We need to start trusting Yah. We need to start obeying him because we trust him. Oh, if you do, put a two. Do you trust him? If you do, put a two. Listen, a first, and the scripture was seeing that Yah would justify the heathen through faith, preached before the Besorah or to Abraham, saying, "In thee shall all the nations." See, we read it, didn't we? In Genesis twelve, it said it. In thee shall all the nations. Come on, y'all. That's not through bloodline. That's that's not through. Uh, uh, come on, y'all. Been greeting his faith. He been saving Gentile. Rahab was a Gentile. The Messiah's grandmama. Oh, y'all didn't want me to go there, huh? Afer and the scripture foreseeing that Yah would justify the heathen through faith. Preach before the Besorah unto Abraham, say, In thee shall all the nations be blessed. So that they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. Did y'all see that? For as many as are other works of the law are under the curse. You putting yourself under a curse. You putting yourself under a covenant you couldn't keep. That covenant didn't come to free you from sin. That covenant came to show you you was a sinner. <laughs> Is y'all listening? For as many as are other works of the law are under the curse. Look what it say. For it is written, curse is everyone that continues not in all the things which are written on the law. To do them. You got to do it, baby Bubba. Hug one another. <laughs> Hug each other. You y'all listening? If you, if you want to go back to the law, keep it. Don't break it. Because if you broke Moshe's law, you died without mercy. Under two or three witnesses. Did y'all know that? If you agree, put a three. If you agree, put a three. Can I, can I tell the truth? Oh, Israel, come on, bloodline. Come on, bloodline, make up your mind. Don't leave the Mashiach out. You're in trouble if you do. Don't throw the baby out with the bath water. Listen. Levin verse, 
but that no man is justified by the law on the side of Yahuwah. It is evidence for the just shall live by faith. You know what just is? Just is short for justified. You want to be justified? Yeah, you better trust the most high in the work that he did and the work on that tree for you and me. Is y'all listening? Twelfer, and the law is not of faith. Don't come up here with that. Come on now. The law is not of faith. You got to disobey what it said. And the law is not of faith, but the man that doeth them shall live by them. You want to keep the Ten Commandments on stone? Then do it. You got this. Is that's where you at? Because the thirteenth verse teaches the Messiah have redeemed us from the curse of the law. It's a curse to us. Is the law sin? No, we were. We the problem. Romans eight and three. Uh, for what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, our flesh, Yah sending his son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh. We're seeing that. In the flesh, in that first Adam nature, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us. What's the righteousness of the law? The word that was on the stone. It wasn't the stone. The stone is gone. It's the word we need. The same word that Abraham believed. Oh, I'm trying to help y'all. Listen. 12 verse. The law is not of faith, but the man that doeth them shall live in them. Y'all sent the son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, condemned sin of flesh. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. You, 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 you walking after the flesh if you're trying to keep the Ten Commandments. You need to accept the word that was on the stone, the Ruach HaKadosh, and let the spirit of Yah lead and guide you into all truth. That's a whole nother level. We turned on the devil. Is y'all listening? I know Mother Katie out there rhyming with me. Pull up a cheer. We in here, Mother. Listen. 13 verse. So the Messiah have redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. How he do that? For it is written, curses everyone that hangeth on the tree. He hung on a tree, not a cross. There them devils go again. Change the name from a congregation in Greek, Ecclesia, to the church. That's the Romans did that. Roman Catholic Church. Paganism mixed with the truth. Is y'all listening? Curses they want to hang on a tree. That's what the Mashiach did. 14 verse. That the blessing of Abraham might come unto the Gentiles through Yahushua HaMashiach. That we might receive the promise of the Ruah. How? Through faith. We want the Ruah. We want the spirit of Yah living inside of us. We want the spirit of the word, the incorruptible seed, the word living inside of us. I need no religion. I need relationship. The promise of the spirit through faith, through trusting and believing in the word, through obeying it. Faith without works is dead. Through obeying it. Oh, I'm trying to tell you something. So the 15th verse teaches us, <clears throat> brother, and I speak after the manner of men, though it be but a man's covenant, yet if, if it be confirmed, no man disannulleth or addeth thereto. See, let me tell you about these devils. They come and look at the land, go offer the, the, the indigenous people of this land, talking about, uh, uh, I can sell this to you and, and, and give you a contract. They're like, what is you talking about? You's a devil. What the heck is you talking about? And that's when they, uh, start stealing land and killing the indigenous people. Renamed them Indian. See, if you are Indian, you don't exist. And the new definition for you as an Indian is like even the reservations is owned by this government. And you being an Indian, they own that term, that name. You become they slaves. You become subject to them because you claim to be an Indian. There's no such thing. The people that lived here was tribes. The people that lived here was tribes, and none of them was called Indians. But if you claim to be the lion, I'm telling you how they use the words. That's why I just ordered, I got it over there. I just ordered, uh, you know, a couple of black law dictionaries. 
because you know they speak another language called legalese, and 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 and, and they they they're devils. They're tricking you. Everything is a hustle. Oh, but let me let me let me keep reading. See, they got you in contracts, even the birth certificate. That's a contract claiming you to be a person. And you think a person is another individual, a living being. No, they're talking about a corporation. So when they call you in the courtroom, they call you a person. They're calling you, you think they're calling you like a, a living uh, 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 individual. No, they're able to prosecute you and do what they do to you because they said legally you're a person. You don't know that they speak in spells. They're casting spells. They're lying and they're manipulating. They're cheating. Oh, I'm trying to tell you something. <laughs> they contracts. You think they're talking to you. No, they're talking to a person. It's illegal for a corporation because it's fictitious to do a contract with a living individual. It's, it's, it, 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 you got fiction and you got fact. You got You got actual. You you representing that birth certificate, which was all it was all in capital letters. You show up as that corporation. As soon as you wake up, you go find. I'm not that corporation. Put the paper in jail. Go get the birth certificate. Throw that in jail. You ain't throwing me in jail. Is y'all listening? They don't have jurisdiction over you. So if you call yourself an Indian or African American, or if you equate yourself to be black, they have funding. For blacks and black businesses, there's no such thing as a black unless it's in their fictitious world. And if you go into their fictitious world based on them casting spells on you, you're going to cooperate and you black. So when they have black funding, you're going to sign up as a black man or a black woman and they're going to give you funding and then they tear your head off. Oh, I'm just trying to teach you something. Back to the scripture. Look what it say. 15 verse. Brethren, I speak after matter of men, though it be but a man's covenant. That's for sure. Yet, if it be confirmed, see, you agreed with it. So now you're on your way to jail. You agreed with it, so now you owe them taxes. You agree with it, now you got to do, now you can't drive. <laughs> now you getting ticked. Now, yeah. Mm -hmm. Though it be but a man's covenant, yet if it be confirmed, you confirmed it. So no man can disannul it. You you signed. Did you sign? Did you say uh, what's your nationality? And you said black, or you said African American? Now 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 see, now you see now you see why CPS is bothering you. You see what you did? No man can disannul it because you signed up or added there too. Now to Abraham, sixteen verse, y'all. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. Is y'all listening? This y'all making a problem, not these devils and the man's covenant. Now, to Abraham and his seed, what the promises made. And he said, not as seeds, because he was aiming at the Mashiach. Does that disqualify the nation of Israel? No, some people kind of falter in their theology when they skip uh, uh, the second verse, Genesis 12 and 2, when, when, he, when he said, I'll make of thee a great nation. That's talking about the bloodline. In the third verse, he's talking about now all the nations of the earth. But but in the second verse, he's talking about the nation of Israel, 12 tribes. Is y'all listening? Listen. 15 verse. Bro, brother, I speak after the manner of men, though it be but a man's covenant. Yet to be confirmed, no man can disannul or add thereto. 16. Now Abraham and his seed and his seed were the promises made. He said, not and to seeds as of many. But as of one, and to thy seat, which is the Mashiach. Now, see the forecast? That's forecasted way back when he first entered into a covenant agreement with Abraham. And that was substantiated through faith. That was substantiated through a promise. Is y'all listening? So the 17th verse teaches, and this I say, <clears throat> that the covenant that was confirmed before of Yahuwah in the Mashiach, of Yahuwah in the Yahusha, the law, which was 430 years after. So after the Most High entered into a covenant agreement with Abraham through promise, based on his faith, the law came 430 years after. Cannot disannul. It cannot break the, the promise. 
it came 430 years after cannot disannul that it should make the promise of none effect. The law coming and giving to Israel, don't stop the promise that was given to Abraham. The only reason why he was fooling with them in the first place was because of the faith of Abraham. If you, if you agree, put a three. He was dealing with the nation of Israel because of Abraham. And that relationship was substantiated by the real substantiation, which is faith. Companions on stone is, a, is Johnny come lately. He, that, that came late to the party. All talk back to me. Trying to reach, not just teach. Yeah, I beseech the east. Listen. Huh. Talk back. So... 18th verse, for if the inheritance be of the law, it is no more a promise. You think he's switching? That, that didn't nullify the promise. Wake your game up. Fo 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 folks, folks, folks was under the influence of the promise. Abraham, Abraham, uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were. David and them, they were. They was under the influence of... Can I, they was before Moses. They was before the Most High met them at Mount Sinai and gave them the commandments on stone. This was, bef this was before that, y'all. This is why it happened, the promise. This is why the Most High decided to go get Israel and, 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 and rescue them out of Egypt. Because of this, the promise, which was 430 years before. Listen, Yanisi, Yahoo, come on. I'm trying to teach Galatians 3.18. For if the inheritance be of the law, it is the more promise. But Yah gave it to Abraham by promise. If it's true, put it to. If it's true, put it to. Come on, don't go now. Pull up a chair. We in here. 19 first. Galatians 3 and 19. Wherefore then serve the law. Why you want to serve the law? I know why you want to serve the law. Because you're trying to find yourself. You got tired of being called nigger. Yeah, Negro. And you tired of being called black. Hopefully you are. Some people wear it as a badge of honor. There's no such thing as black. It's even no such thing as white, but they use that fictitious term white, and 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 and, and did, made it a class, and so class is the superior class. Is y'all listening? And black is the inferior class. You got yellow. You got the Asians, which actually is in that um, in that contract. They're they're, they're not white. So they're they're inferior according to the class scale, but they're ordained by the white, and that's the fake Jews. The fake Jews married into China's royal family, and then they're they're next they're the next face of the new world order. The real is white. The real is white. Who they work for, who's at the top of the pyramid on the back of your money is white. The the fake Jew. Rockefeller, Rothschild, Sassoons, and all them jokers. The 13 families. Yeah. Did y'all listen it? But the face of the New World Order, that's why China owned America. They almost own all this. They got so much land in America, it ain't even funny. You ain't going to have no business in their community, but they definitely going to have some in yours. You ain't going to even have none in your own community. Talk back to me. They running through Africa now, tanned, sewing it up. Because they ain't cahoots. I'm going to keep teaching. Listen, 19 for Wherefore then serve the Why do you want to serve the law? It was added because of transgressions. Because they wasn't acting like they father Abraham. They didn't have faith in y'all like that. So, so, so he put his word on stone to show them themselves. <laughs> and they became guilty before the most high because of the, because of the word on stone. That's why Jeremiah prophesied that the stone would be gone and that the word would be written on the tables of our hearts. Ah! 
It's a heart thing, y'all. We need to change our heart. I'm finna go, y'all. I ain't gonna overteach the thing. You can only absorb so much information at one time, especially if it goes against what you thought you knew. Talk back to me. Wherefore then serveth the law? It was added because of transgressions. Till the seed should come to the Messiah show up. Show up. Till the Messiah show up. Because he didn't want us to blow up. He don't want to destroy us. Till, till the seed should come to whom the promise was made. It was ordained by angels in the hand of a mediator. Is y'all listening? I'll keep going. <clears throat> Two and first. Now, a mediator is not a meteor of one, but Yah is one. He's not three. A little shout out to the Trinitarians. <laughs> but Yah is one. <clears throat> is the law then against the promises of Yah? The word of Yah, is it against the promises of Yah? Yah forbid. For if there had been a law given that could have given life, verily righteousness should be by the law. <clears throat> There was no law that he could give that would make us righteous. Because he did it. <clears throat> Did y'all listen? 22, but the scriptures have concluded that all under sin, that the promise of faith through Yahushua Mashiach might be given to them that believe. So <clears throat> since we all under sin, we were all born in sin and shape of iniquity, then the only way out is through the promise that the Most High gave through faith in his word that was robed in the flesh, fulfilled the law, died on a tree for you and me, rose again with all power, and then he baptized the Ruach to live inside of us and lead and guide us into all truth. Is y'all listening? That's the way out. Other than that, you was born in sin, you're going to die in it too. Gandhi can't help you with that. Muhammad can't help you with that. Buddha can't help you with that. The Gahanza, Yoga, Hotep, being a community activist, <laughs> you, better, you better wake up your game. You can start unfolding. Ain't nothing wrong with you unfolding the lies of these devils and the traps that they set, but you notice the traps are still here. Everything that they set out to do, they still doing it. Got you voting for them and all that. It was a problem. I'm going to go, y'all, but it was a problem. Most I had a problem with them firing him to get a natural king. He gave him Saul as the first king, human king, but he would never was with that. So you wanted the king? He said what the king was going to do. What did he do? What did he do to us? What is he doing to us now? You chose Barabbas over the Mashiach? What is he doing? What Barabbas doing for you? To you? What, what is Barabbas going to do to you now? With Agenda 2025, Agenda 2030. <clears throat> you got a joker like Trump talking about, talking about he's the last Trump or, or he, he, he sent from Yah. Ain't nobody sent from Yah going to give um, uh, the police immunity to start killing and destroying, like the 1700s, to start killing and destroying Yah's bloodline children. Blowing your brain out, and they above the law. They can just roll up, blow your dog on brain. They can shoot up the whole car, kill everybody. They ain't, they ain't never going. They can rape you. They can, they can get in the car, rape all, kill all the men, rape all the women, and they ain't going to jail either, because they got immunity. That's what Trump said he gonna do. <clears throat> what you gonna you gonna you gonna vote for Kamala? Do you know her track record of how many people of color she put in prison? That. She, 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 she tore our communities up. <clears throat> you gonna vote for her? How about vote for Yah? How about if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked way? How about he never intended on us to have a king over us but Yah? Go try that on. You gotta, gotta pick the, the, the lesser of two evils. How about we don't mess with evil? How about come out from among and be separate? How about we turn back and look towards the hills for which cometh our help? Our help come from you. What's going on, y'all? <clears throat> Can I preach the thing? I am anyway. You chimed in. I'm going to kill sin. Pull up a chair. We're in here. Listen. 22nd verse. <clears throat> But the scripture had concluded that all in the sin that the promises uh, by faith of Yahushua HaMashiach might be given to them that believe. Are you a believer? 
But before faith came, y'all see that? We were kept under the law. Yeah, when you faithless, you don't have faith and you don't trust him like you, you're under the law. Yeah, you is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you better keep it too. You're going to come up short, short in the shorty. You, go, you, ain't, you ain't that tall. <laughs> yes, yes, y'all. Listen, but before faith came, we were kept under the law. Shut up until faith, which should afterwards be revealed. That's why Galatians 4 and 4 says, when the fullness of time was come, y'all sent for a son made of a woman made under the law. <clears throat> we were shut up until the, until the Messiah, Messiah showed up. But before faith came, we were kept under the law. Shut up until the faith which should afterwards be revealed. Wherefore, the law was our schoolmaster. They never shadows and types and lessons of, uh, of the future blessings. Is y'all listening? The law, the feast days, festival, tabernacle, beards, oils. All that was aimed towards the Messiah. <coughs> and the Messiah said, I come in the volume of the book to do what's written of me. What's written of him? The feast days and the festivals and the tabernacles. Come on, y'all. Tanakh, Torah. That's what's written of him. He came and fulfilled it. And when he hung on the tree for you and me, he said, it is finished. What was it fitting? It ain't fitting. Well, then why was the veil ripped from top to bottom in the temple? And now we got access with the Ruach HaKadosh, with the Most High. Come on, talk back to me. If you agree, put a three. I got to get out of here, y'all. Look. 24. Uh, uh, look what it say. Wherefore, the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto the Messiah, that we might be justified by faith. We just switch from religion to relationship. Look at here. Look at here. That we might be justified by faith. I trust him, and I believe him, and I'm counting on him, and I'm casting my cares upon him, knowing that he care. Is y'all listening? 25. Uh, but after that faith has come, we're no longer under the schoolmaster. What's the schoolmaster? Torah. Tanakh. Pull up a chair. We in here, Rhonda. Galatians three and twenty five. We no longer. We no longer. No, what part of that you don't understand? We no longer. No, nah, -uh. no, 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 <laughs> For you are all the children of Yahuwah by faith. How did you how did you become his child? By faith in Yahushua Hamashiach, the work he did on the tree for you and me. For as many for as many of you as have been baptized into the Messiah have put on the Messiah. So you that seed now. That seed, that singular seed, not seeds of many. You become that one singular seed. we we baptize into his body. We are part of the body. Whose body? The Mashiach. Is y'all listening? For as many have put on and was baptized in the Messiah, have put on the Messiah. There's therefore now no Greek. Why? Because we're the Messiah. There's no Greek nor Jew. Spiritually. There, there's neither. Is there a such thing as the Yahudim? Yes. Is there such thing as the Greek? Yes. Is there such thing as Gentile? Yes. Is there such thing in people still in bondage? Yes. Is there a freeman? People just walk around free? Yes. There's neither male nor female. Are there still women? Yes. Is there still men? Yes. We ain't going for that Baphomet uh, doctrine of there's no sex. A man can be a man, a woman, and a woman can be a man. That's the that's of the devil. What it's trying to tell you is those are not barriers for you to have a relationship with the most high. The only barrier that will stop you from being with Most High is unbelief. You ain't got no faith in Him. You don't have no trust in Him. The only one criteria to have a relation with the Most High is faith. It is not based on you being the Yahudim or Gentile or bond or free or male or female. You're all one in the Mashiach. And if you be the Mashiach, then are you Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise? What else do you want me to say? Is that okay? Put a three if you agree. What else I'm supposed to say to you? You should know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Free from this foolishness. You need some faith. <laughs> we need to learn to trust him. Put the share button. Everybody need to send this out. Hallelujah. 
let's repent from religion. Because we definitely need relationship. If you agree to repent from religion and get a true relationship, put four in here. It was in, it's already written, y'all. This ain't nothing new. Try to make it look like this side swiped the truth. Well, this is something new. This is something the Greeks did. This stuff came from Africa, from the gate. <laughs> from, the, from, from, from the doing of the Most High. Talk back to me. <clears throat> Already done. You're right. Shalom. Hallelujah. Put five on it. Let's pray. Spirit of Elohim, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to have been in your presence, even once again in your presence, gleaning the truth of thy word, because thy word is truth. Continue to illuminate your children, quicken us, make us up, wake us up, make us alive. Because your Ruach HaKadosh has arrived. You baptize yourself inside of us to lead and guide us in all truth, lead and guide us and keep us and use us mighty in these last and evil days. Yeah, we, we set up for a come up because of you and we receive the come up. We receive the eternal life. Hallelujah. And we thank you. In the matchless name, Yahushua, we humbly pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And hallelujah. That was the lesson for the day. I pray we all continue to obey everything the most I say. Is that okay? I think that's okay. All right, y'all. I ain't going to keep y'all. You still resting? Continue to rest today. And then when you wake up tomorrow, he bless you. Rest some more. Stay in his rest, resting from your works, hallelujah, to do his in these last and evil days. Is that all right? Okay, y'all. I thank everybody that puts the share button, sharing the platforms with the truth of the word. Thank everybody that tag. That's how you invite folks to come on in. And thank everybody that financially support this ministry. You know, not supposed to muzzle the mouth of the ox to tread out the corn. You're supposed to take care of the ministry, the spiritually take care of you. That's what Paul was trying to tell you. Well, he said it, and I'm, 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 I'm cooperating, and I said it too, because we both got it from Yah. Is that all right? If you, if you, if you, if you grow there, sow there. Yeah, go sow where you grow. If you sow here, if you grow here, sow here. And all the people shall, shall say, Amen. All right, y'all. I'm not gonna keep you. Love y'all. Continue to pray for me. To pray for you. Um, <clears throat> I've been having again some health challenges, but man, I'm so trusting Yah. Man, this stuff. This is child's play. I'm rolling with the most high. Pray for everybody sick in their bodies and bleed the most high for it. I love you, mother. Always, 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 always a blessing. Y'all enjoy the rest of your day, okay? Uh, Y'all be Baruch and uh, Shabbat Shalom. I'm gone.